So what we're talking about is a system of, of progressions. We're talking about a game that grows with the player and that's a, that's a, a principle and a phrase that you'll hear me use on a regular basis. And, and I've mapped out in here what I mean by that. It's not just the court getting bigger, it's not just the ball getting faster and the racket getting longer, it's also the demand that we put on them the educational and the emotional demand and the, 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 the level of understanding, the level of decision making, all of that has to grow with the player. And, and, and the reason I say that is because we can control the playing environment and we can control the learning environment. What we can't control is what the kids are about. A four-year-old is a four-year-old, a five-year-old is a five-year-old and we can't change that. Okay. A five-year-old who is highly coordinated is a five-year-old who is highly coordinated and we can't change that. We can work towards developing it more over time but we can't change it in an instant. Nor can we if we take the alternative, a five-year-old who has very little coordination or who is um, behind where they could be from a coordination point of view. We can't change that either. So we have to understand as coaches that it's within our hands and it's our responsibility to control and to modify the playing environment and the learning environment to suit the kids. And where a lot of uh, coaches go wrong, I, I, I think, is that they, they look at all of this as being just a baby version of the adult game. And it's, it's a lot more than that. And, and kids are not little adults, they are kids, okay? And I'm interested, you're hearing about your, you're telling me about your four and a half year old, I've got a, a five year old who I will not apologize for the fact that I'm gonna talk a lot about him today simply because he's taught me more about all of this stuff than any coach, any course, any DVD, anything else. And, and he, he's, he's sort of really shaken the foundations of what I've believed. And, and whereas in the past I thought I was, you know, pretty good at what I was doing, He's made me question a lot of that, and he's also given me the understanding of why it's not so easy to do something quickly, because I can see the problems and the challenge that he has in learning to do things. So um, I suppose it's the old adage that anybody can be a good parent until they have kids. Yeah. Okay. It's when you have kids that actually you realise there's a whole world out there, and that's where this stuff has got to work, and it's got to be geared towards kids. So we have to change the environment for them because the kids can't change the way that they are and what they do. Okay, so that's, that's important. Um, the other thing is that when you have a series of progressions, red to orange, orange to green, if you think about it, the natural psyche within parents and kids is, okay, I'm in red, what do I have to do and how quickly can I get to orange? It's a little bit like on the computer game. We start at level one and in the player's mind is, okay, what have I got to do to get to level two? What do I have got to do to get to level three? Okay. You can't work and operate like that when you're working on a developmental path with young kids. You have to move at the pace of the learner. And so it's very important, in my view, to have a very clear vision of what you're trying to achieve along the way and where you're trying to aim for. And the analogy I gave to, to Dewey earlier is that whenever you get in the car, you know, you know your destination. You don't ever get in the car and just turn the engine and drive and see where you end up. But an awful lot of coaching is exactly like that. Unless you manage your spouse. <laughs> an awful lot of coaching is done on a wing and a prayer where the coach is not particularly aware of how, where things are going and, and when and how and, and so on. So it's important that we have little stepping stones and milestones along the way. And those stepping stones and milestones are determined by the ability and the capacities of the kids. So if the kids are learning slowly, then the milestones will take longer to achieve. If the kids are, are learning quickly, then the milestones may be achieved more quickly. And that's, that's a, a sort of sixth sense that we need to have as coaches, is to, is to, is to, to, to have eyes and ears and a nose for, for when is the right time to move something on. And of course, if you move it on but it's not quite right, you can always move it back. And that's a sign of a good, a good coach, a coach who's regressing and not just always putting their head down and running forwards in a straight line. So, so don't look at progressions as just being a system that you work through. They're there for a reason and they're very carefully thought out. And in here, again, I'll come back to it later.